Hi, Shay Russell here, editor of The Daily Reckoning Australia, and welcome to 2020. Now, we knew 2020 technically started about six weeks ago, and I've been a bit slow to get here, but there's been a very good reason for that. Uh, and that is, since I returned from annual leave, I basically hit the ground running and a whole bunch of information to get through, uh, which has been wonderful. It does mean I've got some great ideas and topics I want to share with you over the coming weeks. But before we start talking about what I think we're going to see unfold over the year, I want to talk about one of my favourite subjects, and it's something that I think will dominate 2020, and that is gold. However, this time around, we're not going to focus on the US dollar gold price, we're going to talk about the Aussie dollar gold price. Now, on Monday morning, uh, I wrote to readers of the Daily Reckoning Australia saying that I had to do a double take when I was checking the Aussie dollar gold price. Uh, and simply put, I'm just not used to it being this high. Now, yes, the Aussie dollar gold price did trade up towards $2,300 per ounce last year, but it didn't stay there. It fell back down and fell back into, you know, that 2200, 2100 range. range. Not range. Uh, but so far this year, we're seeing some real strength in the Aussie dollar gold price. Um, now, already the Aussie dollar gold price has gone ahead and made two new highs. Uh, the first one was on the 8th of January. It traded as high as 2,352 bucks per ounce, uh, only a couple of trading days into the year. And then the second all time high happened again a couple of weeks later on the 5th of February, where, where it traded to up to $2,382 per ounce. Now, since those highs, it's actually fallen back down to about $23.38. However, as I said before, I do suspect higher Aussie dollar gold prices are going to become a common feature for 2020. Why is that? Simply put, the higher Aussie dollar gold price is reflecting our currency weakness. Now, when compared to the US dollar, the Aussie dollar is starting to fall quite significantly. Uh, at the time of making this video, it's sitting around 67 cents. Now, if you're a viewer, viewer of mine back in 2019, you'll know that I probably said I suspected the Aussie dollar was going to finish 2019 at 65 cents. That didn't happen. However, 2020 is starting to play out the way I thought the end of 2019 was going to play out. Now, already I'm seeing some pretty drastic calls coming in for where the Aussie dollar is going to go. Uh, some analysts are calling for it to fall as low as 60 cents by the end of the year. So that's making my forecast of 65 cents um, fairly conservative by comparison. However, what is driving the Aussie dollar lower down at the moment? Well, it's sort of getting attacked from three different ways. First of all, we've got the coronavirus over in China, and we're yet to fully understand the full economic impact it will have on us. Um, you've got to remember there's factories closed, there's ports closed, um, and Australia very much has its uh, economic wagon hitched to whatever China does. So whatever happens in China affects Australia. The problem is we don't know how much we are going to be affected by it. Then, of course, one of the other things we've got to remember that's driving the Aussie dollar down is the value of commodities. Now, to outsiders, they see the Australian currency as a commodity currency. So when commodities are doing well, the Aussie dollar tends to do well. When commodities are doing badly, the Aussie dollar tends to fall. And now this time around, we're seeing the Aussie dollar, um, you know, it's, get, it's weakening because commodity prices are falling overall. Things like iron ore, copper, uh, zinc and coal, for example, have all really been falling since the middle of last year. So that is that sentiment is starting to filter through and I wouldn't be surprised if that's part of the reason on top of with the coronavirus that is seeing uh, the Aussie dollar fall. However, there's a third thing that we need to really understand from an outsider's perspective and that is the three rate cuts from the RBA in five months last year. Now, rate cuts actually aren't a good thing. Rate cuts basically suggest that an economy is struggling and it needs help in the form of cheap or cheaper money. So having those three rate cuts in what is a very short period of time from our central bank could have made international investors a little bit nervous. Throw in the coronavirus and throw in falling co um, commodity prices and things start to look, they think things are starting to look a bit rough for the Aussie economy. Now, I did a lot of uh, recession talk last year and I am going to get to that. We'll get to that in another video. But the fact is, outsiders right now don't think the Aussie economy is doing as well as it is. And we're seeing that show up in the weakness of the Aussie dollar in, compared, in comparison to other currencies. Now, what this means is that the currency weakness for Australia essentially means a higher Aussie dollar gold price. In other words, the currency is falling faster than the US dollar gold price can rise. 
So the point of the matter is, don't be shocked to, uh, over the course of the year if you see the Aussie gold price start to really move higher into that 2,400 or even 2,500 level in the next few months. Uh, and it's simply put, all it's telling you is that the currency, our currency, is weakening. Well, that's all I've got time for today. I'll be back next week with more. See you then.